friends, welcome back. We are doing another dun, 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 seltzer tasting. I know it's wild. Today, at first I thought these were Bon Vive, but I looked it up and it's actually Bon and Viv. So there's that. But I kind of like calling it Bon Vive. So we're just going to go with that. Just kidding. Um, Spike Seltzer, there is four different flavors here. As always, we'll try and hold all of them. Triggers here. Yep, doing his thing. Um, so let's see, Bon and Viv. I think you would recognize the logo if you see how they're two mermaids. I didn't recognize this until I looked closely at it, but they used to have a different logo and I don't know if it's because of this can or if this is the old one, I, I'm not sure. They came in a 12 pack, 12 pack? Yeah, 12 pack. So three of each of these flavors. Um, natural flavors, 4.5% ABV, zero sugar, gluten-free, nothing is perfect, but this is pretty close. We'll see about that. Spike Seltzer, Boathouse uh, up in New York. Do, do, do. Harley's here. Um, two carbs, 90 calories, a little bit of sodium. Let's get after it. This is Black Cherry. I think you remember that Rainier Cherry is probably my favorite flavor or one of my favorite flavors from the San Juan Seltzer ones. And then the one from Costco that was Black Cherry was not my favorite. So it'll be interesting to see <laughs> where Trigger is, number one, and how this one rates. So smells pretty good. Smells like cherry, not medicinal smelling. That's always a good sign. It does smell very sweet though, so we'll see. Nope. Nope. You know when you uh, taste things and then they remind you, this definitely reminds me of cherry trimetic when I was a kid, that aftertaste which is kind of why I don't like cherry flavored things. It's not too sweet, which is nice. It is a little sweet, but it's not like, my gosh, this is a canned beverage sweetness, but that's gonna be a no. Mm. It's that aftertaste, the initial taste and through the taste is fine actually, but I don't know why I keep drinking it. Okay, that one's not okay. Uh, cranberry. Bon and Viv. Again, I think that these are all the same. 4.5% natural flavors, gluten-free. One carb in this one. Cranberry always makes me think of the holiday season. It, this is horrible. This, um, this is horrible to say, but it kind of smells like a um, sweaty gym bag that's been sitting there in your car for a couple days. And then you go to smell the socks to see if you could still wear them. That's what it smells like. Oh no, that's kind of what it tastes like too. Um, Not a very big uh, cranberry taste. Like I couldn't pinpoint that that is the flavor. It's very subtle, it's not as Just trying to think if you can um, add something to this to improve it, because I have 12 of them. Um, that is not my favorite at all. It kind of tastes like <clears throat> dirty sink water that's been in your cup for too long. Uh, very dull taste. Um, I don't know if you could put anything with this, like maybe a flavored vodka might spice it up a little bit maybe some fresh lime or something maybe i should just stick with the san juan seltzers anyways uh this is the mango the bottom bib one carb everything else is the same this will be interesting to see if this is like that artificial mango that you know i'm not a huge fan of it smells good not too artificial tasting smelling
Okay. That one is not bad. That one is by far the best one I've had so far. This one, you might even uh, put a little tequila in there, maybe a little tahine for some spice. It's very nice. It's not too in your face mangly. It's not too artificial tasting. Very lovely, actually. I will finish. He was in the box. I will finish this one for sure. That one's tasty. Mango is by far the best one. Mm. It does taste artificial mango e, but not super I'm candy filled with sugar style. Yes, this is good. Okay, last but not least, grapefruit. Ooh, I have high hopes for this one because grapefruit lends itself well to if you wanted to put in some more vodka or even uh, tequila or even gin to it. And I've recently been trying to get back into gin after all the years of being afraid of it. Ooh, that smells very refreshing. Very nice. Uh, classic grapefruit scent. And that is good. It tastes like a... If you think of a grapefruit flavored seltzer water, that's what this is. It's not too sweet at all. It has a good amount of grapefruit flavor to it. But again, it's not that artificial, I'm chemically flavored with grapefruit taste. Mmm. Okay. I'm going to go with the grapefruit first because I think it's most versatile. It's also really good to just drink on its own. I would then go with the mango because again, you can add some tahini to this. You could add some more alcohol if you wanted to. Even some fruit in there would be tasty. I don't know what how to rank these. If I had to drink one of these, it would be the cranberry first and then the black cherry, but I very much don't wanna drink either of these. And I probably won't finish these ones, but I will finish these two. This is good. I believe for a 12 pack, it was around $14, which is pretty comparable to all of the other ones, but not my favorite. Probably will not buy this line again, unless there's some more flavors that come out. Um, but a good try, definitely worth these ones if you like grapefruit or mango. And I believe that they, I think I only saw them in the variety pack, so you can't just buy one flavor, unfortunately, but Again, some people might like the cranberry and the black cherry, but not my style. Check these out. We'll see you next time. If there's any other like hard seltzers that you want me to try, please comment below. And thanks for stopping by.